Hey friends, Pastor Buddy Chapman, Little Kingdom Minute. I want to share a little verse with you guys today and jump in and just show you what the Lord's been showing me about this. This is Hebrews 12, verse 1. And it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. I tell you what, friends, there's always something pulling on us. There's always something going on in life, but I want to encourage you today, run that race. I entitled this today, hey, cheer others on. I think I, I say this more than anything else sometimes, but I'm talking to folks, I say, everybody needs a cheerleader, man. Somebody needs to, to encourage somebody. And as we're living this life, as we're working and walking through these things, there's going to be bumps, bruises, and setbacks. But what the Lord shows us is that the, the, the saints that have went before say a and someone will say, hey man, you guys can do it. Let's keep on rolling. How much would it hurt you if you actually encouraged somebody? How, how would it, 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 you know, just change somebody's day if you were able to speak some life into their life, man? A kind word doesn't cost you anything. And I know for me, it, it, when, man, sometimes when I get a text and somebody just says, hey man, I've been praying for you. Hey, I'm thinking about this going on. Or you get a call, man, it makes all the difference. Because I tell you, we are made for community. God has made us to, to just you know, be a part of something bigger. And that's keeping the Lord first and then encouraging others as we go along. Let me tell you what, heaven's going to be a place where we get to rejoice with a whole lot of folks and there's always room for more. But God's using us this time, right now, uh, with our gift and to encourage others to come to the saving knowledge of Christ. So the joy that we talk about uh, we should see that in the church more than anywhere else. That doesn't mean we, we don't have problems and setbacks, like I say. But what happens is, even though we go through tough times, we realize who we're walking with. We realize we're not alone in the things. So I, I think it's always good to be able to give an encouraging word to somebody. Hey, man, keep, keep a praise on your lips. Don't be, you know, Debbie Downer and shovel lip. I want to encourage you guys today, root somebody on. Even if you got to build yourself up in the faith before you do it, say, Lord, you know what? I'm going to count my blessings today. I know you woke me up. I know that there's a gift that you put in my life to share with this generation. Today, Lord, show me the way to walk this out, to encourage others. And I guarantee you, guess what, man? As we pour that out in our time, it'll come back around because God is working all things together for the good. So keep on rolling. Keep on sharing the message. Pass this on. It's going to encourage somebody. I hope it's you tonight. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.